southeast.com. Joined now by head baseball coach Steve Beezer and coach, great win for your program last week. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, how big of a series win that was against Austin P. First time you guys have done that since 2010. Yeah, I mean, that, that was a huge series for us, Nick. Uh, the fact that Austin P, a, a program that's been very successful over the last couple of years, uh, getting to regionals, uh, winning our conference, uh, we knew that we had our work cut out for us at, when we entered the series. Uh, but the biggest thing is, is I think our guys kept uh, the confidence and believed in themselves and believed in our program that, that we were going to come out and win that series. And anytime you can go into a series with some confidence, uh, like these guys show on the weekend, I think you're going to be all right. Now, talk a little bit about the great crowd that you had on Saturday. I mean, just tremendous, 1,400 people. And you can really tell your team fed off that energy, especially in the ninth inning after you guys made that big comeback in the eighth inning and when Bobby Hurst came out. I mean, it was electric in there. Talk a little bit about the big crowd on Saturday. Uh, you know, that's like our 10th band for us. Uh, it was huge that uh, we were able to feed off of that. You know, anytime you start a game, uh, the guys have the adrenaline going early in, in the early part of the game. and. Uh, they're excited, but you know, a baseball game takes a long time to play, and and uh, the more that, that support you can get, the more people that, that are there out at the game, uh, you know, rooting and cheering for you. And when, when we get into big situations, you hear the crowd that much more, and uh, you could just see. I mean, it was one of those cases where you could see how Bobby Hurst uh, fed off the crowd, and and that was that, that was great for our program. That's great uh, for our guys to get an opportunity to play in front of a crowd like that. Now, talk a little bit about how you guys have kind of come back the last two weekends at SIUE. Uh, you lost the first game, and then also against South P, lost the first game against two of probably the arguably the best pitchers in the Ohio Valley Conference. And you guys come back, and then you take the next two. Uh, and then you come back on a Sunday at SIUE with a couple big home runs by Matt Teller. And then on a Saturday against Austin P, just a great team effort all around to come back and win. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, kind of the comebacks in the last two weekends. You know, that, that's... That says a lot about this group. That's what they do. Uh, they don't ever believe they're out of the game. They, they stay locked in for nine innings, and they play the game the way it's supposed to be played. And, and when you can do that, you're going to have some uh, successes like that and be able to come back late in games. Uh, and, and that's what this group's going to be, you know, be capable of doing. It's not going to happen all the time. You know, part of the, part of the deal is you don't want to get behind and have to play from behind all the time. But... Uh, it just says a lot about the character of this team, a lot about the grit, how they, you know, they have that never give in attitude, and they're going to continue to work. And, and uh, you know, that's why we were able, after a tough opening night in both of those series, we were able to come back and win uh, two games uh, in, in both of those series. So, you know, that, that, that that's really very important for our program to continue to win conference series. Now, this weekend you head to Charleston, Illinois, to take on Eastern Illinois. Uh, their record might deceive you a little bit. They're they're a pretty good ball club. Uh, they're a very good ball club, and I, we talked to our team about that yesterday. If you put it on paper, uh, very similar, uh, us and, and Eastern Illinois. And the, the, the thing that really concerns me is they're very tough to play at home. Uh, they're 6-2 and two at home this year. Not They haven't played many games at home, and uh, there's a reason why they win at home. They, they've got a home field advantage uh, there, whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's their fans supporting them uh, or it's the field. I mean, the field does play a little different with, with tall grass and the infield plays a little slower than most places. But uh, they, they know how to play their park, and that's going to be an adjustment that we have to make very quick so that we can compete with them. All right, well, best of luck this weekend. Thanks for your time. Now by Thanks. assistant coach and hitting coach Dylan Lawson. And, Coach, you're averaging about 10 hits over the last three weeks. You had about 142 in the past couple weeks. Uh, talk about kind of your guys' approach at the plate. Uh, you guys are pretty hot at the plate right now. Well, the great thing is, is we, our guys, we understand what we're good at and what we're not good at. Uh, we have a deep understanding of our strengths and weaknesses, and that leads to a, a very developed and detailed plan when we go up to the plate. And having a plan, an approach that you, you know exactly what you're looking for, what you're not looking for before you get into that box is a huge, uh, it, it's a big, it's very important for us, okay? And that, that's leading to a lot of our success. Now talk a little bit about your success, uh, kind of hitting doubles. You lead the OVC, rank in the top 40 in the nation, uh, really just uh, hitting a lot of doubles, and Jason Bloom is kind of head leading, leading that way yep. at the leadoff spot, and you kind of got to like that. Oh, you got to love it. Um, and then a lot of that goes back to the fact that we know what we're looking for when we get back into the box. Um, we have that approach, we're patient, and we, we're waiting for our pitch. The best part about that is, is 
we expect to get our pitch at some point during that at bat, and we're very aggressive to that. That's, that's what leads to those balls that are driven into the gaps. And plus, we've, we've got good team speed, so it, one of our biggest identities is that we're going to be busting it immediately out of the box, sprinting onto the field, running hard 90s, things like that. If we're ru running hard right out of the box, we can leg out some of those those doubles. Now, talk a little bit about the team speed. You also lead the Ohio Valley Conference in stolen bases. Had a great week at SIUE. Yeah. Stole 10 in one game. Uh, talk a little bit about your guys' kind of philosophy on the base, base path and how that's worked out for you guys. It, it goes back to just being aggressive. Um, it, we want guys, the other teams, to have to stop us more so than, than ourselves being tentative. Uh, as long as we're putting ourselves in a position to be successful and that the odds are in our favor, then we're going to go ahead and push the envelope. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Absolutely. And we'll talk to you again. Okay.